And doorbell camera footage shows two suspects allegedly fleeing a burglary in Canton. One suspect appears to even be carrying a cash register drawer. Yeah, it's one of four burglaries in that neighborhood this morning and what residents are calling a troubling crime spree. These are hardworking people. They work hard for theirs, and it's, it's kind of sad to hear that things are being taken from them. Good evening, I'm Maxine Stryker. And I'm Vincent Hill. Kai has the night off. Jessica Babs joins us with more about those burglaries caught on camera. Jessica. Well, the four businesses that were hit are all near each other. Police say the suspects were grabbing cash before getting away. On a Friday evening in Canton. It's really a great place to come on a beautiful day. With restaurants filling up, the mood is fun and festive. We come here a lot. It's enjoyable. But rewind to Friday morning, and it was a different story with juveniles committing crime. We look for three number one male juveniles. First one was wearing all black, white sneakers. Second suspect was wearing a gray hoodie, black pants, white sneakers, gray shorts. Third suspect, black hoodie, gray pants, white sneakers. Suspects hitting four different businesses in a string of early morning burglaries. It's just a shame. I mean, it's, it's, it's not cool at all. With one business boarded up, Baltimore police say around 4 Friday morning, there was a call for a burglary on the 2600 block of Hudson Street. They say three unidentified juveniles shattered the front door before running away, but they say nothing was stolen. Then police were called to burglaries on the 2800 block of Hudson at the Canton Barber Shop, where cash was snatched. And a home slice on South Kenwood Avenue, where police say the cash drawer was removed from the register. Those at Speakeasy Saloon and Dining House also say someone got in, getting the register and breaking bottles. These are hardworking people. I'm cool with a couple business owners and stuff, so... They work hard for theirs, and it's, it's kind of sad to hear that things are being taken from them. This video showing a group of three people wearing masks and hoods, one of them holding something that looks similar to a cash register drawer. I was a juvenile once, you were too. I didn't do any of that. Residents like Rosemary Swenson say there should be accountability for the crime. They're juveniles, so they're, if they get caught, they'll get booked, and then they'll get released, which is sad. You know, they need to be held responsible for what they're doing. Police say they are still investigating. So far, those suspects have not been identified. Live in Baltimore, Jessica Babb, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.